welcome back to the Beach Bum Book Worm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad you all found me again today. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance books. And today I'm doing what August cozy mysteries are coming out. I feel like I just did July. Time is passing so fast. Oh my goodness. This is part one, the traditionally published books. Coming up in a week or so, I will have the Kindle, self-published, indie published, part two coming out. All right, let me know which of these that you're most excited about. There's some good ones coming out. There's um, one that I am super excited about. You probably already may be able to guess it, but you never know. There's also some new ones coming out that sound really fun. Anything else that you want to talk about with Cozy's down in the comments is the place to do it. On your way down to comment, don't forget to stop and hit the subscription and the notification bell. Notification bell is going to tell you when I put out new videos so you don't miss anything. And the subscription keeps my channel growing, which I so appreciate because I'm just having so much fun making these videos. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. We're looking at August Cozy Mystery new releases in three, two, one, go. Real quick announcements. On Mondays, we do ring sprints at 7 p.m. They switch back and forth between uh, Lee at Dark Roots Creations and Storm from Storm Reads. Make sure you go and subscribe to both of them so you don't miss anything. I don't remember whose channel it will be on this coming week, but if you are in the, any of the discords, you will definitely hear about it, or you can check both their channels. Again, it's just the two of them, 7 p.m. Mondays, Eastern Time. On Wednesday, my friend Sarah from The Bookish Knitter and myself, you're here right now, The Beach Bum Bookworm, we switch off Wednesday re reading sprints at 7 p.m. as well, Eastern Standard Time. Her, this week, it is her week to do it. On Saturdays, we have the Killing Time with Cozy's group. We chat, we laugh, we read. This Saturday is a general uh, week, so come join us for that. And let's get started on these books. First up, we have Round Up the Usual peacocks right here this is the 31st book in the meg langslow series by donna andrews so meg langslow is a blacksmith this series takes place in virginia it is really fun it's got great character growth great characters it's 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 an amazing series and it's lasted 31 books so you have to know that people are enjoying it next up is lorian berenson has a First in a new series starting, and I am really excited about it, but it is a spinoff. So let me tell you about it. The, the series is called The Senior Sleuth. Now you know why I'm so excited about it. Come on, seniors, let's go. But it is a spinoff. So the main characters are Peg Turnbull and Rose Donovan, who are her other series, Melanie, her Melanie Travis series, those are Melanie's aunts. So I think that you probably meet and know them throughout the Melanie Travis series. What I don't know is if you have to have read the Melanie Travis series to know what's going off in this spinoff. So if somebody reads the Melanie Travis and you're planning on reading the Senior Sleuths, please, please, please let me know because otherwise I am all over this book. Peg and Rose solve a murder. Oh, come on, seniors. Let me know, please. Next up, we have Double Trouble. This is the 12th book in the Maternal Instincts Cozy Mystery Series by Diana Orgain. So it is a new mom turns PI Cozy Mystery Series. The main character, Kate Connolly, is a new mom. She's a private investigator, takes place in California. Up next is a series I really need to get back to. I think I put it on my SAS list. I think if I didn't, I need to like maybe uh, shove it in somewhere because I would really like to continue on with the series. I think I've read about five or six of them, really enjoyed it. It's the Key West Food Series. The first, uh, sorry, the 12th book is coming out called A Dish to Die For, and I love the cover. This is by Lucy Burdett, and the main character is Haley Snow. She is a, uh, she works for a, magazine a key west magazine as a food critic it's a really really fun series next up we have book number 10 it's called murder at beacon rock right here this is part of the gilded newport cozy mystery series by Alyssa maxwell it says our main character is emmeline she is a reporter she is a vanderbilt cousin i'm assuming like the vanderbilt family 
This is the end of the 19th century, and this takes place in Rhode Island. And I need a Rhode Island cozy, but I don't know that I will enjoy this. Oh my gosh. Somebody let me know what they think of this series. I'm not a huge fan of right at the late 1800s, oh, but it's a Rhode Island, and I really need a Rhode Island for the ABC, not the ABC, the cozy road trip challenge through the states. So we will see. Let me know. Next up is Death on the Argyle. <laughs> this is the fifth book in the Black Sheep Cozy Mystery Series by um, Anne Canadio. This is, says our main character is Maggie. She is the owner of Black Sheep Knitting Shop in Massachusetts. And I just wanted to point out that there was yellow on the cover. That is one of our upcoming scavenger hunt picks. So you're welcome for that. Next up, we have A Certain Darkness. This is the sixth book in the Verity Kent Cozy Mystery Series. It's by Anna Lee Herber. And it says our main character, Verity Kent, is a widow from the Great War who worked for the Secret Service. And this takes place in 1919. That sounds interesting. Next up is another cozy with yellow on the cover. And uh, this series has some beautiful covers. This is A Dark and Stormy Tea. It is number 24 in the Tea Shop Mystery Series by Laura Childs. And the premise is a tea room. I don't know much more about it. I think, I think I've think i read a few of these, but you know what? I can't swear to it. I think it's one I've skipped around in and read a few in, and the ones I read I enjoyed. But I could be thinking of another series as well. Next up is another new series, and it looks really fun. It is, it's called Two Parts Sugar, One Part Murder. This is from the Baker Street Cozy Mystery Series, book one. It's by Valerie Burns, and it says, in this delectable new Cozy Mystery Series, social media maven Maddie, Maddie Montgomery's perfect life has come undone, and she's hashtag starting over in a tiny town with one giant problem, a killer on the loose. It looks really fun. And y'all know I love the culinary cozies and I love bakery cozies. All right. Next up, we've come to one of my most anticipated books of August. I'm giving you time to tell me what you think. What do you think I'm talking about? Okay, time's up. Peanut Butter Panic. This is the seventh book in the Amish Candy Shop series by Manflower. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Y'all know this is one of my favorite series. So our main character, Bailey King, she was a chocolatier in uh, New York at a very prestigious company. She was kind of like rising to fame in that kind of realm of the world. And her uh, grandparents, her grandfather had gotten sick, so she goes back to Harvest, Ohio to help with her, with him and help her grandma run their chocolate shop, Swissman Sweets. And I know this is gonna be a spoiler, but she stays in Harvest, Ohio. And this series is so much fun. And there's a cute piggy named Jethro. It's amazing. And there's yellow on the cover and y'all should go out and find this series if you haven't. It's so much fun. And I'm going to be interviewing, um, Amanda is coming back to the channel. I'm going to be interviewing her. I believe it's, th it's on a Thursday. So keep that in mind. Um, we needed to do it through the week and I believe it's August 18th. And I will make sure that I start saying the the time next week and all my videos as part of the announcements so that everybody has time. Because I can't wait. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm excited. <laughs> and there's yellow on the cover. I might have mentioned that. I don't remember. All right. I suppose we'll move on from Peanut Butter Panic, even though I don't want to. Next up, we have A Treacherous Tale. This is the second book in the Cambridge Bookshop Mystery Series by Elizabeth Penny. It says um, our main character is a librarian, Molly, and her mom, Nina, needed a change. So when a letter arrives from Nina's Aunt Violet in Cambridge, England, requesting their help running the family bookshop, they jump at the chance. Again, this is book two, and it has a really cool cover. Next up is A Colorful Scheme. This is the fourth book in the Pen and Ink series by Krista Davis. It's a coloring series, which y'all were just talking about all of the adult coloring. So this is perfect. The main character is Flory Fox, and she is the creator of adult coloring books. 
She and she also manages um, Color Me Red Bookshop in Georgetown, Washington. That is pretty cool. And you can color the cover. There you go. Next up, we have Mrs. Morris and the Pot of Gold. This is book six in the Salem B&B series by Tracy Wilton. It says our main character, Charlene Morris, knew Salem, Massachusetts had a spooky reputation. But when she decided to open her B&B &B there, she expected guests, not ghosts. I would really love for somebody who reads this to tell me how paranormal it is because if it's kind of just, you know, the ghosts and their friendly ghosts, friendly, friendly, did I mention friendly? Are they friendly? Friendly ghosts? I would love to check it out because I love B&Bs and I love the concept of Salem, Massachusetts. I just don't want it to be this, I don't know, I just don't want it to be scary or, you know, anything like that. Let me know because I'm really interested in trying it. All right, next up is another first. I was really excited to see this because anytime you talk pizza to me, I'm excited. It is the first book in Deep Dish Cozy Mystery Series. The book is going to be called Six Feet Deep Dish. It is by Mindy Quigley. And it says our main character, Delilah O'Leary, can't wait to open her new gourmet deep dish pizzeria in Geneva Bay, Wisconsin, a charming resort town with a long history as a mobster's hideaway, millionaire's playground, and a vacation mecca. I can't wait to check this out. It might be another highly anticipated for me. Oh, sounds amazing. This is another one that sounded really good to me. It's a book one. It is called A Killing in Costumes. Yeah, costumes, you had me, right? Yeah, you had me at costumes. It is part of the, it's going to be part of the Hollywood Treasures Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Zach Bizonet. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It says, Jay and Alan, Jay Allen and Cindy Cooper were soap opera stars in the late 90s. A wholesome young husband and wife duo who combined musical talents with humor and charisma. When the truth about their sexual orientation comes to light, their marriage and TV careers ended. But decades later, they have remained friends. Together, they opened Palm Springs movie memorabilia store. Hooray for Hollywood. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Both of those, the pizzeria and this one, like a Hollywood memorabilia store. I am so there. Oh, and the costumes. You have me at costumes, I'm telling you. All right, moving on, because they're going to be fantastic. Next up, we have Murder of a Mail Order Bride. This is the second book in the Love is Murder series by Mimi Granger. It says our main character is Lizzie Hale. It says Lizzie Hale may be the lucky owner of a successful romance bookshop, Love Under the Covers, but she's decidedly unlucky in love. <laughs> I love that. A romance bookshop. And I know people read the first one and I've been hearing some good things about it. So I can't wait to try, to try that series out. All right. And the last one of the traditionally published cozies that we have coming out in August. I'm sure that there's more. And if there's one that I missed that's your favorite, make sure you let me know that too. All right. This one is Into Steep. This is the second book in the Misty Bay Tea Room series by Kate Kingsbury. It says our main character, Vivian, is living her dream. The middle-aged widow owns the Misty Bay Tea Room, a quaint English-accented shop on the Oregon coast. That sounds really cute, and the cover, yeah, it just, I bet this will be really cozy. All right, everyone, let me know what you're most excited about. Give me a big thumbs up for this video, and until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye!